So this message is mostly for James Tour and Origin of Life researchers. Um, and it's something that I've been thinking about for many years now. I finally like drew a little picture of it to explain it to the listeners. Uh, it's gradients. And long story short, I know that the Origin of Life researchers are basically clueless because they look at the Earth as it is now and they've removed everything that's made made Earth special in the past to form prebiotic life. And long story short, life could not have formed from scratch on Earth as it is now. There's no way. You had to have the gradients. You had to have the differences in pressure. You had to have the differences in chemistry. You had to have differences in temperature. And those differences had to have met at boundaries. Now, hypothetically, the boundaries for a young star, say, are 60,000 miles of diameter here. This is would be, be a pre-Jupiter or a post-Jupiter or around a Jupiter Saturn-sized object. Um, and each line is a gradient. So I have gradient E, D, C, B, A, and the, there's a top region where it interacts with a lot of the UV radiation and other radiation from hotter host stars. And you have to have these difference, these differing areas, which all do different things as the star evolves to make prebiotic life or pre prebiotic molecules, I should say, which then can spur the processes involved with creating life essentially from scratch. And if you look at Earth as it is now, you only have really one area and maybe deep oceans for a little bit of chemistry inside of where the uh, hydrothermal vents are. But Earth basically has no gradients at all. You just have a surface and tracks with the sun and then that's it. I don't remember which researcher it was, but Lee Cromlin, I think his name was, he was like, well, it should not be surprising if you take, you know, something like, uh, what, what, how do you word it? If you took molecules or organic material and you shine light on it, that you would one day get a plant. It's not that, it's not that simple. You have to have had extremely vast processes where the, there's lots of differences involved and this object collapses on itself, which means the gradients that created the prebiotic molecules will disappear. So the evidence is in terms of life, but you can't actually see it on the Earth as it is now to figure out what the Earth was like. You have to look at the other younger stars to figure out what the Earth was like. And that's where the origin of life researchers are completely lost and essentially clueless. Um, I have also here, life needed vast gradients and intersections of those gradients, which have disappeared due to planetary evolution. And that's the big stickler. If an origin of life researcher goes, oh crap, the planet is a highly evolved structure. Earth is incredibly evolved and it looked like Jupiter or Neptune or the sun at one point. They'll get looked at as if they're being crazy. So to get to the answers that they need, they'd have to go against the astronomy and astrophysics community. So it's like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. On, on one hand, it's easy to see why they're wrong. And on the other, and, and, and they can't figure it out. And on the other, once they do figure it out, I don't know if they're gonna be able to get funding to push the ideas necessary for understanding the origin of life because the astrophysics and astronomy community is also clueless as to what happens to a star as it evolves, which is essentially a planetary evolution. So creating or bridging that, the, that gap between astrophysics and chemistry and biology, that's what needs to happen. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen because I, I was reading that these NASA researchers and whatnot are going to be studying the crash remains of the asteroid Bennu, where they, they took a sample of Bennu and they're going to study it. They already have the idea that the material they're looking at was when the solar system formed. It's like, no, you're, you're looking at Bennu, the remains of a piece of a dead star that happened, that smashed up the bits long, long, long ago. 
from the beginning of the solar system, you're looking at the core remains of an ancient, the pieces of the core of the remains of a very ancient dead star. You're not looking at the remains of the beginning of the solar system. I don't, I don't know why they, they look at they look at it like that still. That's like 1950s, 1960s mentality. All right. Well, anyways, uh, that's basically it. There's no gradients to form life on Earth as it is now. You had to have had something much more majestic, something a lot more complex, a lot more toxic, and a lot uh, more violent than Earth as it is now to create B to create uh, prebiotic molecules. Nice work. All right, there we go.